Hi guys and welcome back to another vlog and um, today is the Your Horse Life vlog which is going to be rather exciting and it's also an early start as you can see it is still dark outside it is currently 21 minutes past three in the morning I've been up since three o'clock I'm dressed I haven't put my hair up yet because it hasn't been that long since I got into bed so I need to wait for my hair to actually dry it's still quite wet and then once it's dried I can put it up into a bun um but anyways so your horse life is kind of it's like up near the Birmingham area I'm not actually sure if it's as far up as Birmingham or if it's a bit further on than Birmingham I have no idea because we have never actually been to your horse life before this is going to be the first ever time so that makes it even more exciting because we don't know what to expect I am the one that is driving today um and yeah that's really it we're gonna leave at about half past three I've got to go and get fuel because Right, the reason why I didn't get it last night is because we didn't get home till 11 o'clock because yesterday afternoon we were up the motorway to Wales and you're probably wondering why we went to Wales and that is because it's actually rather exciting. We have got a new car. Now that's not for me. I've still got the same car but we have got a new car for towing because our normal car has basically died to say the least. Um... And obviously you guys will see our new car in other videos when I go out in the trailer and things because we're not taking it today. But you guys will probably be confused because it's pretty much the same car that we had. It's just newer, only by two years though. <laughs> and it's a newer version. So it's the same car. It's just like the newer style of it. So it's just, it's like a bit bigger. Um, so yeah, that's going to be really good. So we brought it home late last night. Um, and yeah, that's going to be our new car to tow the trailer with Dan, etc. So that's exciting. Um, so yeah, it was very late for us last night. Already been up the motorway and oh my God, it was so stressful. We got lost in Cardiff. Oh, let's not even go there. Anyway, we're not going to get lost today. We're going to have the sat nav on. I've got to go and, go, go and get fuel. Got to um, go do the horses, obviously. We're just going to feed and let them out because they didn't come in until like 10 o'clock last night um so yeah we're gonna just give them their breakfast let them out leave the stables we'll do that when we come back home and um, we probably won't get home till like eight nine o'clock i reckon um tonight um luckily today it isn't an evening performance so obviously when we went to hoyt it was an evening performance so it was a lot later start we didn't have to leave i think it was at 11 a.m we left um, but today we're going for the daytime performance so we need to be up there by half past eight because that's when it starts and then I think it will finish around four-ish for half past four I'm not 100% sure but we will be leaving then so obviously a lot earlier than what we did when we was at Hoy's so we should be home by about seven eight depending on the traffic as well because yesterday on the way home we were stuck in traffic because there was a crash so yes it's going to be rather exciting and um, you guys are going to be coming along basically like you did on hoys i shared literally everything that went on at hoys i showed you all of the performances um the shopping and everything and that's basically what i'm going to be doing today there is going to be shopping uh, there's going to be like a few outlets as well i know um the Mer outlets there i'm not sure what else is there I know, like machara and stuff like that's there um, but I'm not really sure because I've never been there before. I don't really know what to expect. Also, it's not like competitions as in where you go to like London International Horse Show or Hoyt. It's not like that. It's like more like demonstrations. And it's um like Jeff Billington. He's going to be there doing a demonstration. Um, act, acting. So I can't even never say it back. Ben Actingson or Acton. I don't know how to say it, but you guys will probably know. He's there. Um, the only actually competitions that go on there is showing. So there's the showing competitions, but there's no actual like show jumping competitions or anything like that. They're more like demonstrations. But obviously, I can't tell you guys exactly what it is because I've never been there before. So we'll all have to wait and see until we get there. Sure, guys, I've got enough horse pajajas. I've got another one that's coming with me for footage for you all because I know I'll be on low battery by the time I get there before even your horse actually 
starts so and also i've got loads of charger leads because when i went to hoys i couldn't actually find one that works so if i've got loads and hopefully there's definitely going to be one that works because i don't even have one in my car because that one doesn't work either so hopefully i should have enough charger leads that's gonna charge it oh oh i got my sunglasses which i know is really random because we're in november sorry guys that was my mum with the hair dryer and um, that's what you can still also hear in the background but i know it's november and it's pretty much going to be dark most of the way up there um it'll be when we get there we'll probably have only have like an hour of daylight or something like that but sometimes the sun is so bright in my eyes it's like ah, oh, i can hardly see so i always keep my sunglasses with me which i know is really laughable because i just feel like well it's a lot safer as long as i can see that's all that matters so on the way we are dropping my dog off to my uncle's um because obviously she can't come with us so yeah we'll drop her off on the way and yeah that's really i think that's all i've really got to say to you guys um not actually planning on buying anything although i say that at every single event because let's face it no one expects to spend money and then you see stuff that you like and you can't help yourself but there is one thing that i do need which is actually very important danny needs a fleece um because he just goes through his like no tomorrow like he needs a fleece to wear underneath his turnout rugs out in the field and things and he's got one on at the moment his rainbow one but it's gone all like big round the shoulders and it's his right so size and everything it used to fit him but it's like stretched around his shoulders and doesn't fit him that great so i need to get him another fleece but i'd also like to get him a fleece with a neck but i need to make sure that the neck's not going to be like tightly fitted around his neck because they just don't fit him great at all so i'm hoping that when we go there i can find a nice fleece for him to wear under his rug it doesn't really matter what it is because it won't be long and he'll probably trash it and i also need to look out for another fleece for mittens as well because again she has a fleece underneath her turn up rug at the moment as well because the weather has just changed guys just all of a sudden but um again she has the same problem it just doesn't fit at the front and it's her size she's had it for god knows how many years and it's like they've stretched so yeah we need to look for two fleeces i'll probably try and get her one with a neck as well um but yeah i'm not sure if they'll do that kind of stuff there but yeah we'll find out the car has taken over my parking space i have to park out in the road everybody well that gets my space honestly up this petrol station guys then stables then to drop my dog off then straight up the motorway Guys, this shows how long Dan's been in. One poo. <laughs> oh, and he's hardly eaten any hay either. Like I said earlier on, it was about 10 o'clock when we got up here and I mucked out in the morning and everything. So all I had to do was bring their hay buckets in and feed. But I'm going to put his overreach boots on now. But they're all going to have an extremely long day out because they won't come back in until we get here later on this evening because he done being laid out and that's the problem with his fleece you see guys and i move it and it still does it oh you got shavings in your whiskers dan mm -hmm. good boy there's mittens eating her food again she's only done one poo as well good girl and of course guys well you can't actually see dawny there she is eating her breakfast too guys right, so the horse is done obviously we're gonna muck out when we come back else we're gonna absolutely stink of horses and that is just not good i mean it won't be so bad with danny's stable because he's on shavings but with the other two on straw if you guys have got horses and they're on straw you will know what the stench is like it is disgusting but they are very very clean so that's a positive next stop is to drop my dog off and then we're en route Do you miss me at all? Do you think about the things we used to do? No, you couldn't stand tall So why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years has gone by We are 
are here guys, I've just got to change my shoes and then apparently we've got to catch a bus or something to actually get to the place. So we're actually parked in the field, so fingers crossed we don't get stuck, stuck because the ground is quite wet. But yes, here we are. I wanna get to your clothes, gotta get it right now I wanna push all the limits with you right now So watch your feelings, the city's screaming when I'm coming home tonight We're living quick in the world, gotta get it right now People talk and tell what you wanna hear now But they all disappear, they will let you down so we better stick together, let's come whatever We're not coming home tonight We're living quick in the world, gotta get it right now So I'm going to try and convince the bosses that next season it becomes a full-time event host rather than a part-time event host and a full-time stallion. And my aim would be next year... Don't go in front of me. God. <laughs> my aim next year would be... Me, me and me. You're all about me, aren't you? Huh? You don't think about me. I'm here, risking my life. Life will live on a foil. You can drop straight in front of me. <laughs> my, my aim next year was to be I try and get into... I don't sugar about your aim next year. I'm just worried about me. Try and get to the Leon Donchier, which is the six-year-old world championships with him, where I think he can do very, very well. You can see it. You're an adventure, I'm a short jumper. Well, I'm thinking about how I'm sat, so as I'm trotting around. Billboard that. Jump for joy, a fantastic jump, and they're all very spooky. I have a, a, a set of jump for joy at home. They're brilliant for the young horses. I've got a problem though, because I haven't got any legs. <laughs> John Whittaker said I must have very good balance. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Rhythm and balance. You've got a lot of balance, I'll give you that. Whoa, whoa. Oh, yes. That's really good. You can give her a very, very little round of applause. A bit more. A bit more. Go on, give it some! There you go. Hey. Whilst Jeff's using the crowd to build his confidence, <laughs> I'm starting to play with the trot a little bit, so starting to move him forwards and quietly bring him back. So I'm just trying to develop the movement more and more. So I'll come down the long side, 100% straight. And you see, he loses balance. I don't worry about that, that's a positive mistake. Don't ever tell them off or correct a positive mistake. Just quietly come back and ask again. <laughs> she could spook at any time. I've got to think, keep your belly in line with the front of the saddle. <laughs> oh, oh. Hey, oh, did you see that? <laughs> did you see that? A flying change on a four-year-old. Good lad. <laughs> it was pure luck. And there wasn't much correct about it, but... Good girl. Good girl. Up. Oh. And now I'm going to gently... Drop my right leg back behind the girth. Oh. A perfect flame chair. Oh. You know what's happening now, don't you, Oliver? What? It's running off with me. Good girl. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, and I want to stop, sit down, lean back. Oh, yeah. Those the cross. I am breaking it, by the way. Oh, what a jump! <laughs> Just a culture forward, but now I feel like you're going forward enough. Good girls, good girls. Rhythm and balance. Steady, steady, steady. Squeeze. Yes, good. And then keeping the same counter stride all the way to the fence. And if you manage to do that, it's a quite look for a stride. Oh God. Hey, you're doing all right here. I've, I've nearly got a collective counter as well. Come on, good girl. Good girl. She doesn't know how to collect herself. She's just running forward at the moment. Come back. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, he's the only one in the world. <laughs> She'll have the confidence to counter. Whoops. Look at that. What am I doing? I'm 68 years old. Good girl. Good girl. There you go. All right, thank you. Sometimes, like that. Like. Level, 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 level. Better, Jeff. Oh, level. yes. <laughs> now we... <laughs> oh, my God. Oh? <laughs> Stop that way. Oh. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> oh, we're still clear, are we? Keep going. I've never been frightened of getting covered by a mare before. Flame change? Did you see the flame change? Keep the counter. Keep your belly wobbling. Keep going. Last jumper, Pearl. Oh, we're deep. Oh, yes. Remembrance Day is a national day of memorial to remember and honour servicemen and women who lost their lives in World War One. We here at the Hall tonight also wish to extend our remembrance to honour the animals which served during conflicts. Approximately 8 million horses and donkeys died during the First World War. We commemorate the signing of the armistice which brought to an end the First World War and remembers all those who gave their lives in service to their country since 1914. At 11 a.m. on the 11th of November 1918, the guns on the Western Front fell silent after more than four years of continuous warfare. The Allied nations chose this day and time for the commemoration of their war dead. We unite across faiths, cultures, and backgrounds to remember the sacrifice of the armed forces, community from Britain and the Commonwealth. Please now join us in a two-minute silence as we remember, as we forget.
never really feel like you're... It's not half past. What are you know? Um, having to train them. Half past? It's only... It's over in this way. It's after o'clock. Boy, a little bit of half past the other way, so... I was watching Gareth Hughes earlier, so... Head, neck, shoulder... Oh, yes. <laughs> you see that? From yeah. the first fence he jumps, he gives it the utmost respect. We run near. Oh. 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 Give you some feeling this, Alan. That's all right. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> now we're in trouble. <laughs> I'm sick of jumping these little fences. Soften the hand, move up, and then finish the line. Okay, very good. Energy, stay tall, good, ride up, press, look at the next fence, let him travel through the turn, stay up, keep the leg there. That's all right, move up. Okay, not bad. So, all right. That one, and then move. Wow. Very good. Well, correct. It's something different to what you see in a lot of equine sports. So a lot of people will put boots on for support. Right. But we put them on as armour. Okay. So especially when these horses are working as a four, and in an arena like this with lots of spook at, they can quickly decide they don't like the job if every time they bump into each other and smash into each other, they hurt each other's legs. Oh, and so by like having the... Is it? Look where you're going. So wheel round to the left. So just gesture towards your inside horse to, in front of him to slow him down slightly. In front of him so he can see it. Good. And then stop. Stop. Halt. <laughs> so sort your line out so that they're all just trying to it's Okay, so when you ask them to go back. If you think, ch -ch -ch, you want to be visibly in front of them. So, like, as a general rule, one second. When we're thinking about the signals, if we want them to come closer, <gasps> then, oh, don't be a girl. Not that girls, all the girls in here are greater than Jay. They then. But, like, if we're thinking we want the horse to come closer, 
then we point towards the chest because that draws him towards us. If we want him to slow down, then we want to be in front because in front where they can visibly see, that is where it means forward, like backwards and stop. Right. Right, we'll start with that first exercise, asking them to go around one by one. So, what you're going to ask is the torse, you're going to tap them in between the neck, where the neck meets the shoulder, yeah. to ask them to walk on, and do that in order, spirit, malik, mojo, sab mo. When you ask them to go, you want kind of, say, spirit's girth to be level with malik's head when you tell malik okay. to go, and then mojo with malik's girth. I've got this. Right, lads. Are you ready? <laughs> Hi, hello. <laughs> it's me, right. It's me, I, I'm the problem. It's me, at tea time, everybody agrees. Push spirit out. Stop touching his chest, that's bringing him in. Good. Hold your ground. Stop touching his chest. Oh. That one's going too quick. Oh, I'm getting confused already. <laughs> You're all right. <laughs> Just make the circle bigger by make, put, tap them on the neck, inside of the neck for out. Good. Good. Nice, keep Sablo out. Stop it, you. Good. My eye on you, you little monkey. Really nice. And then soft with that whip when it's not doing anything. We wouldn't ride with our spurs in all the time. You're good. Big naughty now. Good. My eye on you. Really good. Good lads. That's it, now stop them. So get in front of Spirit, where he can see, and put your whistle in. Hold your ground. Good. <laughs> so now bring them so they're facing us, and so they're a bit more central. Bring your seat. <laughs> oh, holy Christ. <laughs> Good lad, we can be friends. No, don't bite the whip. Really use your weight and your shoulders and everything. Why is he doing that? <laughs> Tell him. <laughs> don't mind Trot because I can feel my fat wobbling. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Born free, as free as a wind. Yes. Well done. What now? <laughs> no. I'm growing in confidence. You are? Yeah. Okay. What? No, 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 no. Don't go too far. Shh. Oi. Those three are really naughty. No, they're just hot. That's all. What? I'm not riding that one. No. Am I getting off? No, I'm just giving you another one. Hey, up. Shh. Shh. Are you kidding me? Off you go, but take it steady. Steady. <laughs> I think I've turned into a happy hacker. <laughs> no, don't egg him on. I haven't got any more spare underwear today. Any you what? Spare underwear, otherwise I have to wear yours. You don't wear underwear. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <whistles> oh, oh god, they're getting competitive. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I actually was alright. You were alright? Yeah, I was alright. I was alright. <laughs> I was just trying to casually be like, I'm going to stop this he before I kill someone. Shall I have one more go? Yeah. Or is it going to get dangerous? No, I can stop it. You don't fall off, it'll be fine. <laughs> it's easier said than it, done when you haven't got anything to grab hold of. If you all don't learn anything else Whoa. from your horse life, that would be a good one. Oh, steady. Steady now. <laughs> oh god, I'm going to get no hands. No, I don't have that. <laughs> right, come on. Whoa there, beauty. Whoa. That was good. So just keep out of the way a minute till roll. He always does. 
I picked one of the duns. If that. <laughs> He's living his best life right there, isn't he? You what? Living his best life. Yeah, like a little beached whale. No matter how he feels. Stay so down. now ask him to go back down, so reach under his legs and tap. Do you ask him? Yeah, there we go. He wanted a different spot, no, no. No, he wants to roll on the other side, but he doesn't want to roll over. You do you, hun. <laughs> It's quite a good way, if, you, if yours were clipped, you could just make them lie down to do the belly, because I hate having to do that clipping. Having to clip underneath them? Yeah. Just wait a minute. Can't rush laying down, horses. Uh, you like that, it needs the vet, doesn't it? It's just so unnatural. No, it means money going in the bank, not money going out. Oh, okay, for you maybe. So what might you to ask him to do now? Step closer to his shoulder. Go to, yeah, to his side and lift the whip higher. Whip higher, whip higher. Step further back a little bit more. A bit more. And now the whip up. Yes! Oh. Really good. I feel like we're starting to bond a little bit. Oh no, he's giving me side on. <laughs> Just, yeah, it feels so good. Um, do you want to show off, make him do something, because um, I feel like I'm no, detracted no. from how amazing you really are. So we're going to have them all line up, having had a look at them all. Beautifully, and she moves so correctly. And for me, she's a mare, and thinking on the breeding yeah. side of her, although she hasn't bred, she's older, but a mare winning that set. Looking her over the ground, she springs. She elevates through, she's very, very straight, but not only that, she tracks up so well from behind and pushes along. And you can imagine if you were sitting on her, you'd sit in a super place with a great length of rain. I think as judges, we're all riders, we're looking for something for the job that it's going to do. And she was ever so easy over the ground. I loved his manners, it doesn't look at anything, it just gets on with the job. Strong. Good specimen, isn't it? Hello. <laughs> Hello. No. 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 He's not even looking. What's he doing? Oh, he's got a treat. He's so nice. Oh my
hello. This one's nice. Not as nice as that one. Hello. Get fed up with all the everyone sticking their yeah. asses in going, hello. Yeah. <laughs> Winner. Hello. Oh, hello. You're beautiful. Questions at all for Katie. Katie, if you've got one product that you use, what's your go to product? Well, I've got. That's difficult. That's it's so difficult, Michelle. I know, but I'd like to know. For me, um, I use, um, I thought it was going to be a gel for my hair because I've got curly bits here that annoy me. <laughs> Let me try and, um, I can probably find it. Love to see a little fold of these. Mm. <laughs> it's quite nice, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. So we've knotted up here and we've done a double knot at the top, pull it nice and tight and it should take the tension. And then what I would normally do is just take the hair underneath the thread, first of all to hide it and it will help secure it in, like so. And then you'd always be working on this side of the horse, but for the demonstrations I'm going to be on the other side. And I would then bring that bit of hair over, take the tension off. And you can see how white my hands are going. Yeah. That's the amount of tension you need to keep on this mane now. As so you're if your hands don't hurt when you finish, you're not done right. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, so then you bring the middle one down to the side. You bring that one over. Just pull everything tight so it's all nice and neat. And take your time, there's no rush. This is why Moppy's so good for this. <laughs> it's all set up. I then take the tension of the flat with my other thumb. And then bring the other blue. With that little bit of hair then into the middle. Okay. I've got those a little bit uneven, but that's okay. So bring that down into the middle. And that's the first platting. So then I swap hands, keep the tension on with the thumb, a little bit of hair out, bring it over. Opposite thumb down, tension, then I've, I've let go of everything now, which is great. So I can bring the blue back over this side, the red comes over to hide that bit of hair. You're doing this on a 19 hand, it's chicken round. Yes, I So then, get all that nice and tucked in. Then we bring that blue back over and down to the middle preset. Again, taking the tension with the thumb, making sure that bit stays on there. Right, so I can swap hands again now. So I can let go of that bit. Pick that bit In over. a minute, you'll start to see it. It's slow to start, but it won't go. <laughs> <laughs> then it made me cry. This is right. my car. Yes. Like my car. It's Tina. It's <laughs> rarely plays up and it goes in my car. It blows. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're back to red now. Where the mop is going. Hopefully you have a glamorous car. No stress, no stress. No stress. It's very clean. You don't want it. I can give you a flight. So then you put your flight in over the top of the wall and set it up. Yeah, no problem with you. And you set it up to where you want it. And again, as we did before, take the hair from the other side, pick it over, tension, and this will start hurting after about five minutes, <laughs> promise. <laughs> then bring the red down to the side, bring that blue That's over, hide okay. it in with the hair, like so. Get the tension, making sure your hands are hurting, and then you bring the blue over with not too much hair. I 
Sets and my play sets while I'm still learning because I dropped them and all the rest of it. Once I finally pick my colours, I'm going to get the really nice because they're about 150 quid all in, I think. Yeah. Because you get the tails and everything going with it. And it's just, they are lovely. And if you look after them and you clean them, they will look after you. And that's the thing. Right, so we're now starting to get somewhere. I think we're about ready to get that second flight in now. So take the tension, drop the wire out the way. Tend to bring the wire over first, and then I'll bring the wall over with it, because you want to try and hide the wire at all times. You don't want the wire to be seen. Okay. So bring that back into the middle. So again, just take your time, get yourself set up, and bring it back down to the center. Another flight, just set that back in about there. Okay guys, so we are now back to the car. It's been an amazing day. We are going to be leaving now to go home. It's 20 to 4, so we are out in daylight, but it's not going to be long until it's dark. So we're going to get on the road because I want to try and get out of here and onto the motorway before it gets dark. And we should have a good hour. We bought some sweets, so we're going to be munching them on the way home and yeah, We'll be going to pick up my dog and then go in to sort out the horses, muck them out, etc. And then we'll be going home. But I think we might be home a little bit earlier than what we were planning. So that's a positive. We are now at the stables, guys. We've been here for like half an hour, obviously. Been picked up my dog. That was at like seven o'clock. But um, we got here at eight. It didn't take us an hour to get here. We sat at my uncle's for a bit. Anyways, the horses are completely done. They've been mucked out. I didn't film when we got here because we just wanted to get them done. Also, the horses were stood at the fence waiting for their food. So I thought it was a bit unfair to make them wait by vlogging. Um, but yeah, they've been mucked out. They've got their hay. Dan's just currently eating his dinner. Obviously, Mittens and Dawn have been mucked out. Exactly the same as Dan. Um, so they're all done. And it's only took us half an hour, which is not bad at all. So we have one happy boy sorry guys the lighting isn't very good there's his hay and his waters which you guys can't see i filled up good boy grumps and then i'll take you into the other two stables in a minute it is pitch black out here guys and then just showing you guys mittens so she's got her magnetic boots on so does dan there's her hay bucket there's her water um we put a fresh bed down and she's happy eating her dinner as well and of course, Little Dawn as well. She's got her magnetic boots on. I'm not sure if you guys can see. She's also had a fresh bed. She's eating her breakfast and she's got her water there as well. She only has half a bucket, guys, because she doesn't drink a full bucket. So we just think it's a waste. So we always give her half, but it always stays the same. So the next stop now, guys, is home. Finally. Right, guys, we're finally home. It's about nine o'clock. So was it not... I was expecting to be doing the horses at this time of night or just hitting like North Devon. Anyway, I'm going to debrief to you all guys about today, tomorrow, because I am so tired. I'm living on three hours of sleep. I'm hungry and I've got a really, really bad headache. And yeah, we've just gone to KFC for our tea. So I'm going to eat that. I'm also going to watch Elphick Event Pony's vlog of her new horse because I haven't seen it yet. Um, and yeah, I will speak to you guys all at some point tomorrow to tell you about today. Okay guys, so it's the next day now. So I thought I would show you guys 
what we have got. So the first thing that we got, I'm pretty sure this is the first port purchase that we bought, is from Black Fort Equestrian. Now I think I'm pretty sure I've already got a Black Fort Equestrian clothing. I think it's the lilac t-shirt that I got at Badminton this year. Um, and we was walking around and honestly the quality of their clothing is just incredible. So I've got a pair of the black riding leggings slash tights um, and the quality is just amazing. Um, what I love about them as well is they've got belt loops. Um, so the riding leggings that I have got, I don't have any with belt loops. Um, the only um, droppers I have with belt loops are like breeches and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I don't actually have a pair of riding leggings with belt loops. So that's going to be really good so I can wear my belts with them. Um, and then at the front on one of the um, belt loops, it's like a little rose gold charm. I'm not really sure what you'd call it, but it's got the B on it for um, Black Fort. And they've also got pockets to put your phone in for when you're riding or like mucking out, etc. Um, so there's a pocket here, which is again got the in black, the B for um, Black Fort. And then on the back, it's got just in the writing again in black. It's not that noticeable. It's the Black Fort. And then on this side, um, there's another pocket. So you've got two pockets as well, which I think's really good um and i tried them on there and they fit me so that's good and they're very comfortable as well so i'm looking forward to actually wearing them because i think they'll look quite smart as well so yeah i love them the next thing we bought is the bags down here is from equalite now i already have two things from equalite um trying to find what I've now put, where I put it now. My dog is sat on it, that's why. <laughs> um, so from Equalite, I've got this headband, which I got for Christmas about two years ago now from my friends from school. Um, and it's in the Navy and I just love it so much. It's perfect for this time of year, especially because we don't have any lights at our stables. So these are really good for mucking out or doing whatever in really. Also, I used it quite a lot last year when I was doing the evening lessons with Tim Cheffings because they were good to untack after I come out of my lessons because it was dark. Um, and I've also got another headband, but in teal, which is the life on the left brains. Um, she chose the color, which is cool, but that's out in my car. So from Equalite, it's not a headband. Um, so it's kind of this little bag. And I purchased a high vis in pink and on the back of it, which I'll show you, but I need to read it. It says slow, think, act, stay safe, which is really good. And also what I love about this the most and is one of the reasons why I got it is because I do a lot of hacking. I hack every single day. Um, I only really go in the school if I need to hire it for something or if I'm going for a lesson or something like that. Um, but the main time I'm riding, I am on the road and I just think you've just got to be just as seen as like you just got to make sure that you are seen with all your high vis and stuff um, to stay safe. Now, I'm really lucky that I don't really have to ride on the main road unless I want to. Um, I can come out of our place and it's all back lanes and I can go for miles on back lanes which is just amazing and if I don't want to go on the main road then I can just avoid it and still get to all of my rides which I'm really lucky because I know there's a lot of people out there that have to ride out on the main road and stuff but I'm very lucky that I don't have to do that and um, that is like one route that I do that I do have to go on the main road but it's literally for probably two minutes and I always trot um, up on the main road but yeah if I don't want to go on the main road I don't have to I'm also very lucky that Danny is as good as gold in the traffic you could literally take him up the M5 and he would be as good as gold but it's not always the horses that are the problems it's the drivers so I always make sure that we are high vis right up Danny wears an exercise sheet in the winter once he's clipped um he also has a pair of brushing boots they're the wolf wear ones with the high vis straps um and I always wear a high vis tabard um and yeah, I always go out with high vis on. With this high vis, um, which is what I love about it the most, is you see on the back, I'll put it on to show you guys properly, but you see these little bits here, and you also have them on the front there as well. 
and um, they actually light up which i think is so cool so here you have this little black thing with the button and down the bottom here they are so good in equilite i have actually um spoken to them before on instagram um and they are lovely people now the question is guys is i'm trying So with the little black thing, in the inside of the pocket, you just connect it like that. And then you can put it through this little bit here, which is, oh, sorry. I'm not very really good at demonstrating. Um, yeah, so you put it through here, this little bar. Um, and then on the outside of the jacket, there is a little, again, I will show you. Um but there's a little button here and that's where you press it and then it should light up but let me put it back in because it's just fallen out and then yeah and then i'll put it on so you get the full effect so what's really good about this is these fit the lady said over an equi dry over any thick coats which is really good it's perfect for winter and this is it not lit up so i'm going to press the button which is down in this corner and look at that guys i'm sorry how cool is that that is just amazing and it's just going to be perfect for when i um finish college and that it flashes it's just so good and it goes a little bit slower and then yeah it is just amazing this is going to be perfect for me once i finish college now we're in the winter and it's getting um darker a lot earlier i can't go for very long rides now obviously i'm not the only one um but yeah this is just going to be amazing um yeah i just love it you can get it in two colors i think you possibly might be able to get it in orange i'm not 100 percent sure though um but the colors that i saw at the stand was the pink and the green and we're definitely going to be seeing because dan wears a green um high-vis exercise sheet and i normally wear a green high-vis tabard but i've gone pink this time so we're going to be even brighter because there's going to be two colors of it so yeah really really happy with this purchase you can also get it's like a different version of one of these and i tried it on because i wasn't sure which one I preferred and the minute I put the other one on I put this one on first and then I tried the other one I didn't like the other one I much preferred this one but yeah I do love it and it's just going to be perfect for riding on the roads and making sure that we are seen and to be kept safe as well so that's from um, Equalite and then we will go to Machara, Makara or Machara. Not really sure how it's said, so apologies if I said it wrong. Um, so yeah, there was a sale on at Machara, but this one here wasn't in the sale because it is a new colour that has not been out for very long. Got the bubblegum pink half set machara jumper, which I literally love it. I saw it at Hoy's and I loved it. Um but yeah, but this jumper here is actually a Christmas present from my nan. Um, but yeah, I just love the colour of it. It's just such a nice colour pink. So I love that. Put it back in the bag. I don't know why I need to put it back in the bag, guys. Because I don't have to. But <laughs> for some reason, I'm putting it all back in the bag. I suppose it's not a bad thing. Then this is the most, well, it's... I can't believe it to be honest with you but guys I got Dan and you won't believe what I'm gonna say in a minute but got Dan the Lemur turnout rug I cannot believe the price I got this rug for so in the hall they had this massive Lemur um where they literally had everything and one of the things about your horse live is there's sales there's offers off and stuff like that um and the mur had loads and loads of sales on for base layers numbers you name it they had the sales on and i walked to the back and i saw the rugs and this rug here is 100 gram and it's in the navy i don't know if you can really see by the lighting 
and I got this rug it was meant to be 149 pounds and I got this rug for 80 pounds I cannot believe it I literally saw it I was like I bet they don't have Danny's size which is six foot and they did and I actually think it was the only one in this rug in six foot and oh I am just so happy with it because it's a hundred gram one and Danny doesn't actually have a hundred gram rug he has 200 gram he has 50 gram he has all the others but he does not have a hundred gram rug and about a month ago um I was going to buy him a hundred gram rug and I'm so pleased I didn't because we've got this one now but obviously he's not going to be using it now this time of year because he's already in a 200 gram with a fleece underneath so I'm not obviously going to be putting him down to 100 gram um so it won't be until next year I will use this but that doesn't matter the price I just cannot believe I got it for 80 pounds it's just incredible and I love it because I have wanted Lemur rugs for well basically since they've come out I've always liked them but with the price of them definitely not but yeah over the moon that I got this for that price and then we was walking around <laughs> And we went back to Machara um, to the sale because um, like half of it was not on the sale because it was like all of the new stuff that's literally just come out in the last month or so. And then the other side, which obviously been out for ages, was on the sale. So I got to be honest, when I went and got the first Machara purchase, we didn't look into the sale side. And then I was walking back through and I was like, now I'm going to have a little look just to see like what they've got. And um I have bought a white Machara hoodie. Um, now you're probably wondering, that is not a practical colour around horses and you are 100% right. I'm not actually having this to wear around the horses. I'm going to have it for best. It's going to be a non-horsey jumper because if I was to wear this colour up the stables, I would be plastered within 30 seconds. So definitely not a colour I will be wearing around the horses. But um, I've wanted a white jumper slash hoodie for ages and ages now because it just goes with so much stuff. Um, and when I saw this, this is just amazing. And I got this for £25. So this hoodie is meant to be £48 and I got it for £25, which I'm really pleased about. Um, and yeah, I love it. And just all of the stores, they had like discounts or they had big sales and stuff like that um the equilite wasn't in the sale and black fort there was 10 pound off i believe um but yeah very very pleased with the purchases that um i have got so yes guys that's everything we've bought i definitely think it's enough it was hurting our hands carrying it around but your horse live was so good i thoroughly enjoyed it it is a massive place they only have one arena um but there are three halls of shopping and they literally have everything and your horse live is one of the places where they have the discounts and sales um and there were some very good sales there and discounts as well which is good um so yeah they have three massive halls um and then you have like the outside area which is where like the food is um, and then you have the main arena, which have seats. Um, and you kind of, when you buy the ticket, you have a choice. You can either get Standard Plus or Standard. Now, I recommend to get the Standard Plus because if you get the Standard, you don't get a seat to sit down. And it also means that you can't see any of like the performances or um, like demonstrations, which I didn't actually realise that until we were sat down and we were speaking to the people next to us. They said that they went last year or something um, and they didn't buy a standard plus ticket. They bought just a standard one and there was loads of people queuing up and they was unable to see um, like the demonstrations and things. So if we got the standard, we wouldn't have seen any of it. And honestly, I would have been so annoyed. So, yeah, I'm so pleased that I don't know what made me go and get the standard plus. I just saw it had seats and I was like, that's just going to be so much better to sit down. And I'm so pleased I did um and also another bonus about getting the standard plus is when we got there um you had two sides if you were standard plus you'd go this side if you were standard you went that side the standard plus you just got to go straight in they've done our tickets and we also got a wristband here they gave us 
um and yeah we just got to go straight in and go and look at whatever we wanted whereas the people that got the standard you had to stand in queue you wasn't allowed in so that was another bonus you get to go straight in um and yeah it was just it's a massive place um what i loved about it as well is you had two like blocks of stables i suppose you'd call it um where you got to go and see the horses um, so it wasn't any of the horses where they'd done like the demonstrations or anything like that. One of them was, um, there was a few donkeys, there were some other horses that are actually looking to be rehomed. Um, and then over the other side, there was another like strip of stables, which is where all the shires were, Clivesdales, Suffolk Punches, Pergerons. Um, it's like a massive heavy horse club. Um, so you got to go actually to over to the stables and stroke the horses and there were some lovely horses there as well and then um, they very kindly showed us how to um, put on a harness on the shires and then they showed us how to plait the manes with like all of the ribbons and stuff like that which was actually really interesting as well so that was really good to watch and then we'll go on to the demonstrations which was really good so first of all we had jeff billington and oliver towers and they were just so good now i've never actually gone to see them in person it was the first time yesterday but i have seen them on youtube from other vloggers that have filmed going to see him or going to your horse live and i've seen a bit of the footage and i think i've seen it on horse and country as well and honestly they are just hilarious and when i saw it um on the tv i was like i would love to actually go and see them so when i saw that they were on on the saturday at your horse live i was like that is why i want to go there just purely to see jeff billington and he is just hilarious i tried to get as much videos as i could and obviously i've kept them raw you guys would have seen by now apologies about like it was really hard to try and get all of it because everyone was obviously sat in front and there were some people taller and stuff so apologies if some heads were in the way um but yeah it was so good to watch so entertaining it was ben atkinson and jay i don't know how to say it it's like Myla Miller I'm not really sure how to say it but they were really good as well we got to watch Ben Atkinson ride Jay's horse um, and that was really good to see because I've never actually seen any footage of Ben ride um, I've only seen him like stood up on the horses and doing all his amazing stuff that he does with them but never actually seen him ride with tack so that was really good to see Jay gave him a lesson um, we watched that for a bit we watched Ben do Liberty and Natural Horsemanship with Jay. So Jay was actually doing what Ben would normally do with the horses. And that was really entertaining as well, watching Jay try and do it. But it was amazing. And Ben was like working him through how to do it. And that was really good to watch. I thoroughly enjoyed them. Um, we only had until like quarter past one. It was from quarter to nine till quarter past one where we was allowed to sit down and watch the demonstrations. Um, we only missed one act, I think, because we were too busy shopping. And then at quarter past one, we had to leave because the other people that bought the Standard Plus tickets in the afternoon, they come to take our seats, basically, and watch the afternoon performance. Um, so then after that, Life on the Left Rain and MD Eventing was there doing a meet and greet. And you guys would have seen by the photos and the videos and everything that I went up and spoke to them and saw them. And... I actually met Tina and M last year with Megan Elphick and No Horse Hand and Cameron Beer, which I did actually vlog if you guys was around. Around this time last year it was actually. So I've met them all before and I wasn't gonna go up and see them because I was like, I've had photos with them before, but then I was like, but it was with all of them. I haven't actually had photos of just M and Tina. So I had photos, spoke to them and Susie. So if you guys watch MD Eventing, um, you will notice that there's someone that featured in her vlogs called Susie who also rides Sprite. Now Susie was there vlogging for M and Tina and Susie uh, took videos, took the videos and photos on my phone because she's just better at taking them than what my mum would be. Um, so yeah, and she very kindly took my phone, took photos and videos. So thank you to Susie. I know she won't be watching this vlog, but still thank you. Um, and yeah, it was really good to have a conversation with Tina and Em. I said congratulations to Tina for qualifying for badminton. 
um i said amazing to um em about victim because she's done amazing it was just very unfortunate about the show jumping and i know them too they will definitely be going to badminton one year without a doubt um and i look forward to watching them and i obviously look forward to watching tina next year with banks at badminton so yes that was really good um i didn't actually see megan elphick she was there i walked past her but i didn't actually go and see her um like at the meeting group because i have seen meg twice now before i saw her one year which was the first ever vlog i filmed guys um all the way back in 2021 when i went to bicton to walk the five star course um and meg was there vlogging um walking the cross country course as well and i man managed to get a picture of her um and then again i saw her last year um and i do like megan elphick i watch all of her vlogs and stuff and i really like her but my two favorite youtubers are 100 percent Life on the Left Rain and MD Eventing, without a doubt. I've watched them now for three years and yeah, I just love following their journeys. And obviously I love watching Meg, I love watching Han as well. I've started watching Han on YouTube. Um, but yeah, Tina and Em are definitely my favourite. So yeah, that was really nice to see them. And then after that, I think that was it. Then we went to see the Shires and then we went home. So yeah, it was a really, really good day. I'd definitely like to go there again um another year because it was good seeing all of the demonstrations the shopping was really good uh, normally at like hoys and when we went to um olympia um it was only like the one hall like the one place where you have the shopping um but yeah at your horse life it's free um big halls they're not small halls either they're like really big halls um, and where the meet and greet was um for tina and emily yesterday was at the seib insurance so we took one of the leaflets someone um that works there gave us a leaflet where you can obviously insure a trailer stables or horses and stuff like that so we're gonna look into that but um, yeah it was a very very good day so i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog um, and if you did, please comment down below which one you preferred, Jeff Billington and Oliver Town N or Ben Atkinson and Jay. I'm not even going to say the second name, guys, because I literally don't even know how to pronounce it. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'm not sure what the next vlog is going to be, but I will see you all soon. Bye.